Hey Gems, welcome back to the channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and it is Friday Night Live. Um, I do see some people in here, but if you are here, say hello. Um, let's see. Hi, Luane. Hi, Renee. Hey, Gina. Oh, I'm so happy that you got uh, the swap item. Um, I hope you like it. <laughs> um... If anyone else is here, say hello. Whew. So y'all, I just literally woke up from a nap. So if I look tired or disoriented, I'm sorry. I, I literally just woke up from a nap. It has been a long day and I fell asleep right before I needed to go live. Hey, Rebecca. Yes, don't forget to change your chat from top chat to all chat or live chat so you don't miss any of the info thank you rebecca <laughs> all right y'all so tonight um i want to i all right if y'all are haven't seen it's only a few of y'all in here but if you're watching on replay if you don't know um i will be moving again so, uh, I need to go through all my fabric and downsize my stash. I am not moving all of this stash. And, um, a lot of my sewing room is going to be going into storage because I will not be having another posh room for at least the next year. So, um... A lot of stuff has to go into storage and I'm not storing a whole bunch of fabric. I don't, I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't want there to be any problem with rodents or anything getting into my fabric and then I can't use it anymore. So what I'm going to do is de-stash a whole bunch of fabric, take with me to the new place, the fabric that I absolutely love. And if I have to store fabric, I'm going to vacuum seal what I store, but I'm not keeping everything. Um, hey, how's the fabric packing going? It is a process. So this is what I, okay, so I'm thinking that tomorrow will be, I'm going to have several de-stashes before we move. We have about a little, uh, a little less than two months before we move. We, at least by June 1st. So I'm going to have a few de-stashes. This is what I've been doing. I'll show y'all. I have a huge, not huge, but I have a laundry basket full of what, of what I've already prepped for the de-stash. And what I was going to say is that I want to start with a de-stash tomorrow, like my tester de-stash to see how it goes. But I've been like bagging, putting what's in the bag and how much it weighs, which I've been trying to keep everything at 15 ounces so that I can do uh, shipping for cheaper. So like this one, obviously Coriolder Sun Wash, 15 ounces. That'll be one pack. And then I have like uh, Riley Blake, Hello Spring. Um, then I have also things like this, which are charm packs. Um, then this is 10 Joann's Fat Quarters is how much I could fit in for under a pound. So that's pretty much how I'm doing it. This is like a fall. Um, I have some that's like holiday or seasonal. Yes, Renee, I'll be selling it in the Facebook group. Um, I'll be doing a few D stashes. Um, you're faking it till you make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tomorrow, I'm going to do it tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to make like a little video with all the rules and how it will go. So it probably will just be me saying like, look, I'm going to in under this post in the comments. I'm going to post pictures of each um, thing that I have for sale, how many of them I have available. And um, 
everything will be PayPal. So um, it will be like leave your PayPal email so I can invoice you. And I'll have the price of it. Um, all prices will include shipping so that it won't have to be this let me check on shipping costs because it'll, it'll be U.S. only. And all the everything up there will shipping is included. And I'll try to do it as cheap as I can. But um, all the money made from this will definitely help with the move and stuff like this. So it's going to be hard to see all my fabric go. But it's going to also um, be helpful. I feel sad that you have to do this, but happy from the beginning. Yes, yes, Tammy. I'm not sad at all. I'm sad to see my fat, my stash go and not have my, my sewing space that I'm used to. I've had a sewing space for the past four years. But um, what, what what's, hap what's going next is going to be way better than me just having a room. So it's not a sad moment at all. Will I still be in Austin? Um, somewhere around Austin, in the area. My my PO box will still be the same, so I'll be in the area. Trying to listen while on the phone. All right, Sheila, come back when you get off the phone. <laughs> hey, Celine. All right, but before I get started with doing that, I just wanted to, um, I got my swap item, and I haven't opened it yet. And my person is usually here on the lives. I might wait till she comes. Um, I just went pick it up from the post office today and the box is big. So I want to open that on the video. Who knows? Maybe you will come across fabric you have not seen in age. Oh, I'm sure I will, Away, <laughs> Because um, if y'all have been around, y'all know that all fabric that I bought at the craft thrift, I, I keep color coded in these bins. So like the fabric all the way to the bottom, a lot of times I don't know what's in there. <laughs> it's a man, Sheila. Uh, no, she's not here tonight. She could come over. <laughs> so, uh, Gina asked about, uh, Celine not being here. <laughs> All right. So, but I did get this in the mail. It's this postcard. And I don't know if y'all saw for QuiltCon, Ruby Star Society had where you can sign up to get a postcard from QuiltCon. And it's just funny because so Becca is the one who sent my postcard and she's like hey from quilcon love so becca p.s is this the crystal heart so i need to tell her yes it's me <laughs> but the card was cute and i don't uh gina i she was tracking her package i don't know if she knows that it was delivered today because she's been working all day She's off now, but um, Celine, if you're watching this, your package should be delivered if you haven't tracked it. Sorry, I'm moving, y'all. Hi, Oh, hey, Leanna, I didn't see you were in here. You didn't miss much. We we're talking about um, we're going to go through fabric for my d stash sale. I'm sorry, my angles are going to be weird. I'm literally sitting on a, a bean bag on the floor. Um... My swap is in the mail. I'm going downstairs to get in a few minutes. Yay! All right. Whenever... So my person was Mitzi. And Mitzi is usually... I'm not going to show her address. But Mitzi is usually in the lives. So if she shows up, I'll open it. I'm going to open it regardless. But I'm going to wait a little while to see if she shows up. Mitzi, if you're here, say hello. I want to open the package. But I would like for you to be in the live if you if you come tonight. Uh, Celine, get your butt down to that package. It's from all around Austin four times. Yeah, it was supposed... Gina, she, when when did I see Celine? This was days ago, and she was like, it was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what Austin was doing. All right, so my process for going through this fabric is that I don't have my scale. Oh, is back here so what i've been doing is getting a bag um putting fabric like choosing the category putting fabric in it 
on the scale until it reaches 15 ounces and then labeling it and putting it in here in my big laundry basket full of items. It's been all over. <laughs> Go get that package, Celine. This box is a good little table for me, though. So I've decided to de-stash my Tula Pink fabric, most of it. So if you into Tula, it'll be in the de-stash. Uh, mind you, most of it is um, like scrappy, it's not yardage. Like pieces like this. This is when I say scrappy, it will be pieces like this um, in there. But I think I've played a lot with my Tula fabric, and I'm okay with letting uh, some, if not most of it, go because I've done so much different projects with Tula. I love Tula, but I think I'm okay. It was supposed to be there Tuesday, and then today it showed that it went from Austin to Kyle, to Austin to Kyle, back into Austin to Kyle. Oh my gosh. So, also, um, do y'all feel like, because I have been doing some that's like um, from like a, a specific line if i have a lot of fabric from one line i've been doing packs that are from that line but a lot of this fabric is not you know i don't have a, more than one from the line so do y'all think doing multicolored or doing color coded packs would sell better like if i do a green pack pink pack blue pack or should i just do a whole bunch of multicolored packs or both. I don't know. My swap from you is my favorite Tula, the Curious line. Really, Gina? I didn't know that. That was your favorite Tula line. I thought the cats were cute on it. Um, so that's why I used it. <laughs> Uh, I saw on Facebook is trying to get a world's record with the largest group of people named Kyle. They need like 2,300. <laughs> really? Tammy, you say color-coded pastry. Uh, Leanna, <laughs> you say designer packs and color-coded. Okay. Um, either way would be easier, Rebecca, because my bins are all color-coded, but I can grab from multiple bins. But I do want to go through and I am going through the bins and if I have a lot of one uh, designer or one line putting them together, like uh, like this Cory Yoder, I was finding so much of this at the craft thrift and these are like um, bigger than fat quarters. What are you doing? Nothing. Please stop. These are like um, bigger than fat quarters. So they were like some good sized chunks. So I was happy to put all of that in one pack. I don't know. Um, but if it's not the same collection and or designer, I would color code it. Okay. So I guess I'm going to do some color coding. And if I have extra, I'll make uh, mixed bundles. It's going to be a lot, y'all. So it's going to be more than one sale uh, going on for sure. Yes, they are supposed to have a meeting of the cows in cow. Really? <laughs> I've heard about the cows, but I didn't know they were doing a meeting in cow. Uh, Boogie, can you go get my phone off the charger? Sure. Thank you. I love the sun wash line too, but um, being that I am, I am um downsizing. You get what? It was not like a line that I just had to have. I didn't have to have it, and I'm trying to keep only my holy grails my things that i really really like y'all know nantucket summer slash dwell fabric that's like i love i will not be getting rid of that but i will be trying to find some patterns to make something with it <laughs> and all my ruby star society i love ruby star society so i probably won't get rid of most of or any of that 
Tula used to be my my one that I wouldn't be able to get rid of, but I've made so much things with Tula fabric here and there that I'm okay with getting rid of it. Uh, get what? My charger. Charger? Yes. Where? At your in your room? Yes, it's in my room. On the not my charger. Not get my charger. Get my phone off of my charger. Thank you. I gotta put the air on, y'all. I need my phone. <laughs> um. Yeah, so my holy grail is Nantucket Summer slash Dwell. Most of my Ruby Star Society, I think I can't, I don't know if I can get rid of my Ruby Star Society. I love it all. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I don't know. As I go through, if, I, if there's some things that I like truly love and really want to make stuff with, then I'll keep. Hi. Bye. All right, y'all. Hold on. Give me a second. I got to put on my air. It's hot in here. Uh... Where is the app? I can't even think. Okay. You're back, Sheila. I know I'm missing stuff. Maybe Rebecca can store your fabric in her huge sewing room. <laughs> oh, Allison Glass. Yes, Rebecca. Allison Glass. Um, I don't have a whole bunch of Allison Glass, but I probably will not get rid of Allison Glass. I, I want more Allison Glass. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go through this. Um, through this Tula. Um, and the thing about it is. A lot of Tula fabric is so sought after, like, I don't even know how to price it because, I mean, I don't know. I don't, like, this is just, like, the little pinstripes, but I don't know. And I should probably keep the lines together. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing at all. This is not Tula. I don't know why it's in the Tula bin. I'll probably keep my curiouser and curiouser all together. Ooh. See, Rebecca's fabric is taking up all the space. And, yeah, Rebecca's fabric is taking up all the space. So, <laughs> let's see. These little ladybugs. I love them. And also, when I do my sale, these are not mystery packs, but in kind of a way, they will be because I'm not opening up the packs and showing pictures of the packs on the listings. It'll just be a general idea of what's in the pack. So, um, let me see. Tiny Beast here. So, um, yeah. So, like, if I post a pack, like, this is a fall pack. If I post the fall the fall pack, I'm not gonna sit there and show every single piece of fabric in here. I'll just be like, these are 10 fall fat quarters. If you want them, you want them. I'll have a picture of it like this because it would just take way too much time if I had to sit there and photograph each piece of fabric. I saw you on the Juki, Celine. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, I let Celine use the Juki after all, y'all. I let her use the Juki. More curiouser and curiouser. I have so much of that. Um, are these cats curiouser and curiouser? What are these cats? It's not on the salvage. They are. They are. They're the uh sh the Cheshire cat or whatever it is called. All right. Oh yeah. So one good thing about her, you uh so. If you're watching this and you know, Selena is my friend. She doesn't sew, but she joined the swap and I help her to sew her swap item. She did really, really well, but, um, I let her use my Juki. One thing that was good about it was that the, um, the speed control, I asked her if she wanted me to put the speed up and she was like, no. So she was all the way on turtle speed. 
these i love these little teacups y'all i love them but not enough to keep them uh yes i get it now the cheshire cat <laughs> i don't know why that didn't register for me uh what is this this one glitter litter I got so much Alice, y'all. So much Alice. The wildflower. Uh, how much time do you have to pack your house? Uh, until the end of May. I'm. It's a. It's a. It's a lot, y'all. Um, we're doing. I'm doing a garage sale next weekend. I'm going to do another garage sale in May. We're we're ser we're downsizing, heavily downsizing, and um we are getting storage unit for certain things, but I don't uh I don't want to store things. The, the, my model for this whole thing is if I'm only keeping what's irreplaceable. So if it's irreplaceable, I'll keep it. If not, if it's replaceable, then it gotta go. And if it's irreplaceable and I don't love it, then it gotta go. Don't you want to make yourself one of those mini pillows? <laughs> she wanted to, y'all, she wanted to keep her, uh, the item she made because it was the first thing she ever sewed. <laughs> Celine, we all sorry, turtle speed. Yep. Look at these. They're cute. She wanted to keep her little pillow. I told her no. And then she was supposed to make her mug rug, but it was the weather was getting bad. We didn't have time. So um, I love this one too, y'all. But I got to let it go. Got to let it go. Then I have a whole bunch of these little tiny things. So I might put this off to the side for my hand, um, for my hand sewing things. When I do slow stitching things, I could use small pieces. Uh, let's see. What line does this come from? I do not know. Um, put it on the side. A little squirrel. I need to have a yard sale because I've become a hoarder. I think I have become a hoarder too. Like literally. It's getting ridiculous at this point. That's also Tula the turquoise. Yeah, it was Tula, but I don't know what line it comes from. Do you know Gina that turquoise? This one? All of, everything I'm I'm going through right now is Tula. But some of them I don't know what line. Oh, I always wanted more of this fabric. I got this little scrap at um of this one at the craft thrift. And it's only just a little small strip. So you don't get a whole rose. And I always wanted more. Now, if this was bigger, I definitely would be keeping it because I love this. The drippy rose. Did anybody see the new Tula line that's dropping? My new thing is buy and sew it. it. Mine needs to be that too. I need to be way more intentional with my uh, buying. Me too, hoarder of the fabulous fa fabrics. As long as I had space for the fabric, then it wasn't a problem that I have this much fabric. But um, but now it is a problem. <laughs> so I got to do something about it. The fairy dust. I love this too. It's so much that I do love. I'm trying to sort it. Um. Yes, Janet. I am. Um. I'm going through my stash and having a a, a D stash sale. So I am. 
trying to pack it all up. 2024 is my smash the stash year. Yes, I love that. I love that. And I actually haven't been buying much fabric. I don't think I'm saying that. And then y'all going to be like, you bought this and this. But I don't think I haven't been buying much fabric. So I have to rewatch the hair. Sheila, go ahead, girl. Do your thing. You... I need to have a yard sale because I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to miss comments tonight, y'all. I already know it. I think uh, MC Couture did a video about the new line. Yeah, she probably did. She loves Tula, uh, Matt. Yeah, I have to have a project in mind before I buy it, though that's not set in stone. <laughs> yeah. So for now on, I'm going to be way more intentional with what I buy. And um, yeah. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to read the salvage. I gotta be. I gotta be more intentional. And I don't know where I bought this scrap pack. I, I think... Uh, where did I get this? And all they gave me was the Tula salvages. So maybe I'll make a whole Tula salvage um, pack because... I bought a scrap pack of Tula fabric one time and it was just salvages. In between right now with projects, last thing I did was my swap item. Hey, Christina, how are you? Why are you packing up stuff? I'm moving, Janet, moving again. I know we just moved here, but we're moving again. <laughs> we're curious, sir. This is some some old Tula. What is this? Moonshine. Yes, the salvages are a thing. They sell them like that in the fa fabric shop. Yeah, I think I'm going to put all... Let me see. It's somewhere in here. But I think it's... Uh, It might all be fairy dust. Why? Who gave me this? Where did I buy this? Because this is ridiculous. Where did I get this? I don't know if anybody wants all of the same salvage. So I don't know. Do you see the all salvage quilt at QuiltCon? No, I didn't. Or maybe I did. I don't think I did. I don't know. Who knows what I saw? My memory is too bad. And then this was a backing and it was so cute. I wish I had a bigger piece. This was craft thrift strip. But I could cut these out and applique them on something, huh? I might have to do that. Will you be able to have a garden? Um, y'all, let me tell y'all about my garden. I literally was almost in tears the other day what it was now yeah uh two or three days ago the wind was so bad so bad out here and i have my greenhouse in the backyard with all my starts uh all my starters vegetable starters that i did and the greenhouse was staked in the ground but the wind was just too much and i went out there to check on the plants and stuff as i do every day and the wind had took the whole greenhouse down um all my plants were all over the ground, dumped out of the pots. All of my starts, y'all. I wanted to cry. I had to sift through the dirt to try to find the little plants that had grown and try to repot them. And um, I lost probably more than half. I replanted. I just put them straight in the ground. Uh, not the ground. In the, the garden bed. Because... I just was like so discouraged and they're not making it. They, they're not making it. It was too much stress on them and it blew away. It wasn't raining that day. It was all just wind. I was like in the backyard, pissed, <laughs> pissed, 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 pissed. Um, so yeah. So my plan was because we're downsizing, I won't have like a regular garden space, but my plan was 
I have the stackable planters where they kind of look like a fidget spinner and you can stack them up high. My plan was to put as much as I could in those and then have stackable planters. But um, at this point, I don't think much will make it. So I'm just not even stressing myself about it. I'm just going to cry about it later. Uh, we had a really bad storm here the other day. Wind hell, buckets of rain. Yeah, y'all, it didn't get to us that bad, Rebecca. It did end up raining that night, but not as bad as, like, I think how y'all had it. So anyway, garden is pretty much destroyed. I have clothing fabrics I need to have at yard sale. Oh, I don't have much um, apparel fabric. Uh... I'm hungry, y'all. I am hungry. Hubby is cooking, but I have no idea what. No idea. Oh, and this backing fabric. This was cute, too. Some of these tulip packs will not make sense. I have, I'm for sure going to be have a cur be able to have a curiouser and curiouser line, uh, pack, and I'm for sure going to be able to have a tiny beast pack. But the rest might just be mixy matchies. The queen, I have a uh, a quarter yard of the queen. <sighs> Mm. what part of louisiana it was moving east will you be able to craft while downsizing yes i will i will still be making things and having videos um i'll still be sewing i will just not have the space for all of this <laughs> build some raised planter boxes at the new house the new house is not so much a house there will be no yard <laughs> where i live there are community gardens maybe where you move to look to see if there's such a thing yeah um uh i will look for community gardens because that would be a, that is a good idea That is a good idea. I didn't think about that. I had my sound machine on, so it so didn't realize it was a storm until my husband woke me up. Oh, wow. Okay, I think that turquoise tula is from Moon Garden. You're right. It did say garden on it. Moon Garden, which is a current line that is selling. Really? I didn't know that. This is, this is, I think, old. What is this? It's just a strip, though. Some of the pieces are small. And then this line, what was the line called that had all the, um, the sewing supplies on it? Like the, see, this has scissors, thread. I know it's hard to see because of the colors and the lighting. But I don't know what that line is called. I have more of that. Does it have salvage? No. Uh, what are you? Wait, I'm missing things. Yeah, community garden is great. It is. What about having your students do a garden at the school? We tried that at our. Okay, so the location where the school is now, we don't have a place where we can do a garden. Um. We rent, um, we rent, we rent spaces from churches to do the school in, but at our other location that I don't work at anymore, they actually gave us a whole garden bed and told us we could do whatever we wanted with it. The kids just, I couldn't get them together. We started and then 
they lost interest. So we never, that was last year though. They never uh, pulled it together. So, um, but the location we're at now, we don't have a, um, a space. I see lots of fabric for string quilts there. Yes, yes, there is. Even New York has them. It would be good for your soul. Yeah, gardening is definitely good for my soul. Like, when all my plants flew and fell over, like, Kamani was out there like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hubby came out because uh, I was like hollering. I was like, Joseph, come see. My plants are everywhere. So he came out, but he didn't understand. I don't think he understood, like, why I was so affected. Like, he just like, well, what you going to do? And I was, like, literally about to, like, start swinging because nobody understood how <laughs> how frustrating, how hurt I was. But um, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I, 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 I kicked the flower pot while I, I was out there, but I was mad. Um, homemade is out of print. Oh, that's what it's called? Homemade? This one, homemade? Okay. Uh, Janet, I'll still be in the same area where I live now. Still in Texas. This one was cute too. See the little strippies. I hope that people can like still want strippies. Not all of it is strips, but some of it is. So much of the cats. Uh yes, don't forget change your chat from top to all or live chat so you don't miss anything and hit the like button y'all. I can't see how many people have hit it, but hit the like button. Look, Gina, the purple. I have a bunch of the purple one, too. The raccoons. The coons. Oh, now this one. What is this one? Slow and steady. Oh yeah, jelly rolls are small strippies. So I guess people do like small strippies. <laughs> the skunk. If y'all don't see any of this stuff in the sale, y'all know I couldn't part with it. It's a possibility that I'll change my mind about some of them last minute. The possum. Is it a possum? Did we say this was a possum? I don't know. Who is this? Daydreamer. The skunk is from Lineworks. You see, I don't think I have any more from that. It's going to go with the Tiny Beast collection. All the animals going to go together. Hey, Tamika. Got to run and grab something to eat. Good luck. Hopefully, I can catch you. Yes. See you in the Facebook group. Uh, Tamika, we are going through fabric um, because I am doing, I'm de-stashing in the Facebook group starting tomorrow. It'll be over the next few weeks. I'll be de-stashing. So, if you're interested in some uh, fabric packs, scrap packs, and fat quarter packs, and all that, I'll be starting tomorrow afternoon at some point. I thought you put the line works in your black and white quilt. Oh, the black and white quilt was an um, a orphan block quilt. And those blocks were already made. It was in that quilt, but those blocks were made by someone else. Oh, look, the queen on pink. I want it. And then the queen 
again on red. I like the queen on pink though. Um, I'm not a huge fan of animals in my fabric, but that skunk fabric is so cute. The only animals I like, I like the Tula animals. They're not my fave um, because I'm, I don't know, but I do like them. Look, I was keeping my own Tula salvages at one point. Some little purple. Tamika, yes, I am moving again. Sorry if I'm missing some of y'all comments, but I can't see it all. All right. So I went through my whole Tula bucket. It's empty now. So I guess I should start packing and weighing. I'll start with Curiouser and Curiouser since I know I have enough for 15 ounces of that. This is all the Curiouser and Curiouser. Mitzi girl, are you not here today still? I'm so surprised. I want to open up my package. Uh, not a Tula fan at all. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> we all like what we like. Oh, uh, the stripes and polka dots, the Tula stripes and polka dots, I love. I just don't have any. Besides um, these little pinstripe ones. But I don't have any of the dots. Why do I have this this green fabric right here? Um, I wanted to get some of the new Roar line with that T-Rex. As soon as I saw it, I wanted to make the lips and nails red. <laughs> where, did, where did Celine go? She may be waiting for her son to get it for her. All right, let's see. I got my scale down here. So I'm looking down at my scale to put 15 ounces. I'll probably be able to do two. Huge dots and dino eggs. I'm going to have to look at it. I saw the line, but I didn't really go through and look at everything. I'm trying to keep my eyes off of new fabric lines because um, I've been on that Allison Glass, the, uh, what is it? The post, the postal one, the postage stamp one. I've been looking at it, looking at it. I want to make that postage stamp quilt, but I can't. I just can't right now. Oh. 10 ounces. The teacups. I'm still here. Nelly said he on his way back. And he will grab my package, but he is 19, so him saying he is on his way could be ours. Yeah, we we can't rely on a 19-year-old's uh, time. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the Tula stuff, but I love the colors. There are some patterns that I really like, mostly stuff without animals or people. On. What do you do? It's 15 ounce, the magical number for shipping. Um, Keeping it under a pound is the magic number, and... Um, the way the post office works is that if it's 15.1 ounces, then it goes up to a pound and postage goes up. So it needs to be like right at 15 ounces or 14.9. I just need to keep it like right at the 15 mark to keep the price down. All right, I'm at 11 ounces, y'all. Let's get some more in here. I'm trying to put a variety in each bag. What are you doing? I am on live, Kamani. 
Yeah, what do you do? I'm packaging fabric to sell. Oh, that seems fun. Mm -hmm. Um, what is Daddy cooking? Dad is cooking something like. Do I know that he's making garlic bread or something else? I don't know. Go see if there's a snack somewhere. Mommy's hungry. Go ahead and tell Daddy I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, let's see. What else can I add? <sighs> um, Tula did a video about Roar a couple weeks ago on Free Spirit. It was nice. Cool. Um, you can make your postage stamps out of any picture. You would just have to get the scallop edge stuff. Yeah, but I also wanted the panels. Which the panels are super cheap. It's just right now it's all about space. I might still get the panels. Uh, Daddy said food is going to be ready in about 10 minutes. What did he cook? I don't know. That's what you were supposed to go see. And for me a snack. Oh. Do you want me to do that? Yo, I've been on here for an hour almost and I haven't done anything. <laughs> oh. We're supposed to be eating right now. Okay, when the food is ready, call me. I'll get off alive. Okay. Let's see. All right, so I'm right at about 14.9, 15 ounces. So I'm going to pack it up. So a lot of times when y'all order uh, scrap packs from companies and they say one pound scrap pack, I can almost guarantee that it's like under a pound so that they can cheap it they can ship it for uh cheaper. Uh you might need a forklift to see. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gina, what did you send her? Celine should come over and open it on camera or something. Maybe Gina would have to buy a scrap pack and create maybe the next swap. Should be a designer swap. Wait, let me read that again. Would have to buy a scrap pack and create. Maybe the next swap should be a designer swap. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, I'll be right back. I need a bright and bold colors in my life. Me too. That's why I love... That's why I originally fell in love with Tula. But really, that's why I love Allison Glass. Daddy cooking so all the spices in the house being used. Yup. <laughs> How many bundles have you done so far? Uh, this is where I'm at. Um, Tamika. A laundry basket full of bundles and i'm not even not even a dent i got so much left my sash is extremely dated as most of it was gifted to me that's why i get so excited when i get new fabric i'm back made a spinach and mushroom pizza and garlic oh sounds gonna be old to him that's a great idea what did tammy say oh the uh yeah that is a good idea um like, some of the fabric that I get from the craft thrift is, like, vintage fabric. So, I do have, like, a vintage pack because I don't want to put that fabric in with some of the others because people will be thinking they're getting, like, um, current fabrics. So, I got some vintage stuff. We'll be in vintage packs. Um, all right. So, this is, like, one Tula pack. It took me an hour to make one tulip pack. <laughs> this is why I don't get much done around here. What's one tulip pack? It takes me long. Tula is the fabric. And I'm saying I got one done wow. in the hour. All right. Where's my label? No boogie. I've been sorting it out because I want to. Let's see. Not perfect, but where's my scissors? You just want it to get it to a good point? Yeah. So Do you see my scissors? Like, am I just, like, tripping? Because I know I had them on this box. I haven't been in. Oh, since. it's right here. I see. Uh, Tamika, I haven't um decided yet. Um, The prices will be different for everything because all the packs are different. So as I'm listing, I'll come up with the prices tomorrow because I have some packs that are like fat quarters. This is all fat quarters. 10 fat quarters is 15 ounces, y'all, is what I discovered. So uh, 
So I have like that. That would be priced separate differently from like um these these are also fat quarters. And also if the fabric is like um where it's from, like some of it is Joanne's fabric, some of it is designer fabric. Some of it is crafter fabric. Yeah. I'm so smart. <laughs> My body hurts. I don't know how. So pricing is going to be different. It, but all the prices will have shipping included. That way we don't have to like uh, start figuring out shipping for where you live. All the prices will be shipped. Shipping included. And y'all, I can tell y'all now. I'm going to overprice Tula because it's going to be hard for me to see you go. That way... I can always say nobody wanted it, so now I have to keep it. Uh, I recently got two boxes of fabric, one 13.7 pounds and 12.3 pounds. Both cost $17 for shipping each box. Oh, wow. So the shipping was $17? If it's under a pound, they should not be, it should not um, cost $17 to ship. Under a pound should be no more than like eight dollars, eight nine dollars at the most. That's like at the most. And my body hurts because I'm doing this right now. Uh, Celine, I'm super excited for you to unwrap the actual swap item because you extra, because you extra, so I made it extra. Oh, I can't wait to see. Celine, if if you don't do it on camera, like if you don't record yourself opening it, then you need to do um like detailed pictures. We want to see. All right. I did all that just to get here. Just to get where? Right here. How did I leave some of my Tula fabric in the back of me? <laughs> <laughs> I found some more, y'all. All right. Well, I uh, know I probably have more somewhere. I do have more. <laughs> I got Tula in another bin back there. Low. Okay. Low. <laughs> All right. Oh. Why do I have so many of these little cats? Because. And I've used secret. them several times. Because you see, because you probably secretly love cats. Mm, I don't secretly love cats. But do you at least even love them a little bit? I love them because they're animals, but I don't like cats, okay? Why? Is it because they shed a lot and they scratch on the doors when they when you lock them? Mm -hmm. Look, more Tula, y'all, more Tula. Why is it in a whole different bin? <laughs> That's so low. More Tula. No. Uh, Louine... That sounds cheap shipping to me. So $34 shipping for 26 pounds of fabric. Whoa. Oh, 26 pounds of fabric in all. Okay, I thought you were saying... I was reading ounces, but it was pounds. Okay, Luane, that makes sense. I was about to say... Okay, that makes way more sense. I was going to say that is too much. Yes, she needs to do an unboxing video. An unboxing of video. I'm excited that. to get it. I will go to Crystal's to open it. Yes, come. Yes. We're going to. We're gonna, Okay, that's the thing. I'm not going to open my swap item since Missy didn't come tonight. Celine's going to come with her box and we're going to both open our boxes on a video together. But you got to come tomorrow. You're off tomorrow. You have to come tomorrow. Uh, my swap was $14 and weighed hardly anything. $14 for shipping? Tammy, you need to watch my shipping video because something something wasn't right with that unless it went over a pound. But really, it shouldn't cause that much. I was about to sing something and then I realized that it's copycat. Any red, copy right, and blue fabric can be donated to Valor program. Yeah. I have to look into that. But this, but also me selling this fabric is a fundraiser for my own self because um, it's going to fund, it's going to help, help to fund 
some of the um, things that we will need in this process. Uh, when I can speak, when I know for sure the details of what's going on, I'll make a video telling y'all like, you know, what's my next move? What's going on? I know I'm being vague, but I like my details to be set in stone before I talk about it. Uh, shipping in the Tyvek bags will be cheaper. Um, yeah, I always ship in, um, poly mailers. Always. Unless I'm flat rate shipping, but these days flat rate has gone up. So flat rate only is beneficial if you if you have a lot of stuff to ship. If it's heavy, if it's heavy. I'm off, remember, I'll come tomorrow. Yes, come tomorrow. Not too early, though, because I'm sleeping in. <laughs> <laughs> but you're supposed to be coming to help me with my garage sale stuff, too. Double unboxing. Yeah, size of the box makes shipping go up. Unboxing for what? Oh, never mind. Um, let's see, what else I have back here? Oh, this is my cave bin. I'm selling my cave stuff too. Me. You were? I made a little game. I made this little um thingy. I don't know what the shape is, but I made this with the magnet. And then I took one. Mm -hmm. And then I just put it in my hand. And I take the little magnet. And I just move the little magnet around. Oh, cool. And if it goes up onto the other side, I flip it over. And I do it again. I was about to sing a song, but it's copyright. All right. We got bag number two. Mostly curiouser and curiouser with a, a few extras because I didn't have enough to make 15 pounds. Flat rate is so expensive now. I don't want to see anything that way anymore. Yeah, I used to use flat rate all the time. It was so cheap. But they've gone up. Shipping prices are just has just gone up, period. Another sealer pack. Reese Art Society has really cool service. Yes. I keep all of my Ruby Star Society salvage. I was about to say something out loud, but I realized that it's copyright. So. Oh. It's almost got big. All right, y'all. If nothing else, we got two packs done today. So, <laughs> where? Oh, here we go. My YouTuber almost got banned from um from YouTube because she used copyright songs on her lives. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't get banned, but you get demonetized. Yeah. YouTube told her that she has to that she can't use this music anymore, and then she um and then she had to use this this music where that's not copyrighted. And she was like, "This music is so bad." She played like S O S and stuff like that. Oh really? Yeah. Going in the bin, y'all. All right, let's get some more packs done. Let's see. This is all the animal fabrics, mostly tiny beast. I only have 10 pounds of that, 10 ounces of that. So let's see. <laughs> what girl would have found you? I was laughing because you said that wrong. You said pounds instead of ounces. You thought that was funny. Yeah, because... Uh, was that made in 2010 or something? Because it has the year 2010 on it. I don't know. That was... I don't know what you're talking... No, that's the, the, the name of the machine, Boogie. The model oh. number. Yeah. Uh... Up for a blue case pack. I I still I have a whole bin of case. I gotta um I gotta package up. So, yes, Rebecca. Yes. All right, pack number three. Three already? Yep. Wow. You're so quick at this. No, girl. Oh, I should have way more done. You, oh, you're trying to make jokey jokes? Yeah. You're not? I wasn't being... I, I wasn't... that. I wasn't... I wasn't... I couldn't know. Because I can't even talk right now. 
I wasn't being for real. Uh, how can you even pick out one color on cake? <laughs> you, it's like the um, the main, the feel, the main color. <laughs> I want to make, I want to make that cake where you put um fake blood or like cranberry juice in the middle mm -hmm. and you put it in the in a balloon and then you take the knife and stab it and then it looks like blood. I want to use edible fake blood. Oh, so um, it taste like Lewayne, I am going to, um. I'm going to actually go through my soul sampler boxes and de-stash. De-stash? What is that supposed to mean? I'll probably do one or two more soul sampler roulettes before then. And um, if it's if it's a box that I can deal with getting rid of, I'm going to de-stash them. You should get rid of ones that you that you already used. It's gonna, this this de-stash is going to be like weeks of this so um just if y'all interested keep your eye out if you're not ignore the post in the facebook group but it will be all over the facebook groups what are you doing oh I'm, what do you think i'm doing <laughs> go check on the food check on the food yes ma'am that's that each other. You might ask daddy what, what's, what he's making. Mm -hmm. okay. Just go see if it's almost ready. So I was busy remaking my, my little game because it, I tore it apart. And because I love um, scrap packs and mystery packs, I'm trying to be like um, sad, like intentional on what I put in the packs to like make them what you know what I would want out of a pack. But you know, I saw Martha on a live this week. I don't remember where. Oh, really? I haven't seen Martha in forever. I need to message her, check on her. Uh oh, May swap. We can talk May swap. Uh, he said it's done. The cute little fabric shop has added new fabrics to her clearance, and it's okay. I got it. I can't be reading these things, Gina. She's daddy's done with stuff. Uh. All right. Um. Oh, I need to take some of this off. Heard. I heard you, baby. I'm coming. I can just bring it up to you and you can eat it. No, I'm coming. Um. Oh, let's talk May Swap real quick. And then I'm going to go eat dinner with the fam bam. All right. Give me a little time, Boogie. Go tell Daddy I'm coming. Okay, can you give me my little game? What little game? It's on your chair. It's the magnets. That's not a game. That's magnets. I know, but I made a game out of it. Ma'am, you're hitting. I'm hitting. All right. Um, I'm going to keep that. I made a game. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ooh, 15 ounces exactly. I love it. Um. All right. May swap. Uh, May Swap, the theme will be Galaxy Space Theme. The gal the Galactics. I don't know. I don't have a cute name for it yet. But it's going to definitely be Galaxy Space Theme. May the Force be with you Um, for May. I love all things um galaxy so i'm so happy i'm excited about this one and i thought about not doing not participating because i have so much going on and just like posting it but i gotta i gotta participate if it's space if it's space theme because i love space um and celine loves space too so she should be joining in too 
Um, yeah, so space theme. I don't know what the items will be. I can call it May the 4th be with you. There you go. <laughs> um, it's going to be space theme. And, of course, we're going to do mug rug. Do y'all have ideas for the other two? The other two items to make besides the mug rug. Because I don't know if I have any ideas. Where is my scissor? Why do I keep losing those darn scissors? It's crazy. Oh, there you go. May 4th is your birthday, Gina? Awesome. You like the mini pillow, Rebecca? Y'all want to bring the mini pillow back? Persita's birthday is May 6th. Look at all these May peeps. Um, let's see. Are you aiming for three different items? Uh, three items. I think that's what we've been doing. So if y'all like it, I love it. We'll keep it at um, three choices. Tula variety pack. We got something done today, y'all. Maybe not much, but we got something. Now I lost the whole scale. How did I lose the whole scale? Oh, there it goes. Uh, no, she has a cottage from the same design. I'm looking for Market Street on sale. I love that. Oh, y'all talking fabric. Hubby is officially taking a shower. Our water main has been busted. Oh, no. So, I guess, the yeah, that's the only thing is what will these items be? Um, mug rug and what else? Pillowcase, Starry Dreams. What's Starry Dreams? It's not on sale though, you know, like, so Trump pack is $15 now. He just finished repairing it. I love my handmade. That's awesome. He fixed it. Oh, I found some more Curiouser and Curiouser. I'm going to put it in here. Pillowcase would be cute. I bought the, did anybody do aprons? I seen one apron uh for April. I bought the new quilt pattern for Market Street. Oh, Starry Dreams. Okay, I see what you're saying. I okay. <laughs> All right, so that is a cute one though. Pillowcase. Um oh look, more Tula, y'all. Why is two more and more Tula just popping? Not that this <laughs> i'm sure i'll find more um let's see lynn has a bit oh y'all still on market street i made an apron renee you made an apron okay pillowcase is a great idea so we're gonna do mug rug pillowcase and one other thing I put what Celine wanted to do. I made an apron, but liked it so much I kept it. 
my apron had a tea towel. Oh, tea towel had been brought up a, a lot of times too. Wall hanging. That's been brought up a lot too. I like the wall hanging idea. But I mean, generally a wall hanging is just um a rug mug at whatever size you want. <laughs> Uh, all right, y'all. I didn't even put hardly a dent in what I was supposed to do tonight. I have to spend all day tomorrow packing fabric. Uh, what about an eye mask? The galaxy mask make me think of sleeping. That's cute. That's a cute idea. That has never been brought up. That is a cute idea. That's cute. All right. So y'all know around the 15th is usually when I put out, uh, when I set up everything for the swaps. So it's going to be happening in the next few days. I just need to organize it in my brain and then organize it on Elfster. So y'all keep an eye out for it. Oh, if I edit my video tonight, I do have a video coming out tomorrow. Catching up on my puzzle mystery quilt. Um, Carnival. Catching up on Carnival. Because Carnival is coming to an end, y'all. The reveal is at the end of the month. So, um, uh, what I was going to say. I need to remember to edit this video after dinner. But, um, y'all, meet me in the chat. 10 a.m. Central tomorrow morning. Of the video so we can hang out like we do eye mask i need one okay so eye mask it might be have to be one of them because that's a cute original one or maybe a set of bow cozy we did bow cozies uh Luane. we did bow cozies um dang i'm so behind on what oh on carnival all right y'all they sound like they're eating dinner without me, so I gotta go, and I'm hungry. So yeah, meet me tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central Time, in the chat. If you don't see a video to go to the chat, then it means I didn't edit the video. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna edit the video. So, uh, thank you, Leanna. It is stressful <laughs> and emotional. Um, I guess, yeah, we'll talk about all that later. But anyway, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all for coming hang out with me tonight. Y'all have an awesome evening, an awesome weekend. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Also, like, like, like before y'all leave. Hit that like button. <laughs> and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I don't know why. Subscribe. Bye.